Hey guys, this is Will at Third and Long. Today we are going to be looking at the Week 7 NFL Best Bets for this coming Sunday. If you want a more in-depth breakdown, just go to my Week 7 Predictions video. But today we'll just be mainly focusing on the money lines, spreads, and over and under. So hit that like button and subscribe. And let's get started. So we already had our Thursday night game. So kicking off Sunday at 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the 3-3 three and three Las Vegas Raiders at the 1-5 and five Chicago Bears. So this is going to be a battle of the backups. Both Jimmy G and Justin Fields are both out for this game. So it's one of those games where you really don't know what's going to happen because it's going to be Badgett versus O'Connell. So who's going to win this game? So because it's them playing and it's a battle of the backups, I'm actually going to go with who has the better defense to pull this game off. So looking at what we have here, we have Las Vegas favored by two and a half. We have the over-under at 37 and a half. So I think the Raiders are going to pull it out. They have Josh Jacobs, so they'll keep the ball on the ground, and they have the better defense, and I think they're going to win 20 to 17, and I'm also going with the under here. Next game we have at 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the 3-2 Cleveland Browns versus the 3-3 and Colts. So for the Browns, Deshaun Watson should be back this week, so they do have their starting quarterback coming out. They do have the number one defense in the NFL, Colts. So Anthony Richardson is out for the year, so they will be rolling out Garner Minshew, who is a very good backup. They also have a very good running back room. They have Moss. They have Jonathan Taylor. So they will be able to run the ball. But the Browns have a really good defense and a really good defensive line. So they're going to be looking to shut that run down and force Minshew to beat them through the air. So look for some picks basically here. So Cleveland is favored by three. The over and under is 40 and a half. I think the Browns are going to pull it out. They have the way better defense. They will put a lot of pressure on the Colts. They're going to win 24 to 17. So I'm going with the over and they will definitely cover that spread as well. Next game we have at 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Buffalo Bills at 4-2 coming off of a really sloppy win versus the New York Giants versus the Patriots at 1-5, who are basically coming off of sucking every single week. So the Bills, the offense did not look good last weekend versus the Giants, so they will be looking to get back on track on the offensive side of the ball, but they have the weapons. They have Josh Allen, they have Cook, they have Diggs. Patriots have scored 20 points the last three games combined, so they will be looking to just get a touchdown for once, but they have absolutely nothing going for them, but they do have a very good defense, so I think that's going to somewhat keep this game from getting out of control, but the Patriots right now, they are playing to try to get that number one pick, to try to get a top five pick, and maybe draft Caleb Williams or Drake May, but Buffalo is eight and a half point favorites, over under is 40. I have Buffalo coming into this game and winning 27 to 14. So they're going to get the win. They're going to cover the spread. And I'm going with the over. Next game we have at 1 p.m. on CBS, we have the Washington Commanders at 3 and 3 versus the New York Giants at 1 and 5. So for the Giants, they did play a little better last weekend. Barkley is back. There's some trade talk going on there, but he is back. So look for the running game to get going. Washington, they look good one week. Then they look bad the next week. So to me, they are due to have a defensive lapse this game. And they're going to give up a lot of yards on the ground. So Washington, though, is favored by two and a half. The over-under is 37 and a half. I think the Giants have some things working for them. They're going to get the win here to me. They're going to win 23 to 20. The game will be close. Commanders do have some decent playmakers, but Giants will get the win. So obviously that spread won't be covered, but I'm going with the over here and the Giants getting the W. Next game we have at 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the 3-3 three and three Falcons versus the 3-2 and two Buccaneers. So Falcons, Ritter, he's not a very good quarterback. He has had back-to-back 300-yard -back games, but I'm not buying that to be a permanent staple going forward. The guy has too many mistakes, but he has very good weapons for the Buccaneers. They actually have a pretty decent defense. Baker Mayfield is in line for comeback player of the year so far this year, having a very strong year. Now, Buccaneers, like I said, they have that decent defense, so they should be able to force some mistakes from Ritter. This game has an over-under of 37. 
Tampa Bay is the favorite team here by two and a half points. And I think that is definitely going to happen. So I have the Buccaneers getting the win here. 24 to 17. They will cover that spread. And I'm also going with the over. Next game we have at 1 p.m. on Fox, we have the 5-1 Detroit Lions. What a good year for them versus the 4-2 Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson is having to do everything through the air and on the ground as well. So Baltimore is the favorite team here. They have them favored by three points. Over-under is 43. So this game is basically even because Baltimore is at home. So that's what gives them the three. If this game was in Detroit, the Lions would be favored. Any team can win this game. They are both very good teams with top 10 defenses, but I actually think the Lions are going to get the win here. They have a top 10 offense and a top 10 defense. I have the Lions winning 24-21, so I'm going with the upset pick here, and I'm also going with the over. Next game we have at 4.05 on Fox, we have the 3-2 Steelers versus the 3-3 LA Rams. Steelers with Pickett and Pickens. Um... Uh, just not having a good year throwing the ball. I'm not buying Kenny Pickett. It's just not happening, but they can't move off of him right now. He is their quarterback. He's only slightly below serviceable, but they have a very good defense led by TJ Watt. They will definitely get pressure on the opposing quarterback and shut the run down. For the Rams, Stafford is having a very good offensive year. They can't stop anyone, though, to save their life. Running back will be out this Sunday but they still have Nakua and they still have Cooper Cup. So I definitely think they will be able to move the ball offensively. LA is favored by three here. The over under is 44. I think the Rams are going to get the win because their offense is clicking and the Steelers do not have the offense to be able to take advantage of the Rams' horrible defense. So Rams win 27 to 14. They'll come right in at that 44 and they will cover the spread. Then we have at 4.05 on Fox, we have the 1-5 Cardinals versus the 3-2 and two Seattle Seahawks. Cardinals are at the crossroads. They really don't know what they want to do. They stink. They have Josh Dobbs. Kyler Murray is coming back next weekend. Um, so he's, here. He, he's not going to play this Sunday. But do you even really want to play him? Do you want to win? Or do you just want to throw in the towel and bomb and try to get that number one pick to get Caleb Williams? As of right now, Seahawks have a pretty good defense. And their offense is very efficient as well. The Seahawks are favored by eight here. So a pretty decent spread. Over under is 44 and a half. I have the Seahawks winning 30 to 20. So they will get a, a very convincing win. They will cover the spread. And I'm also going with the over. Then at 425 on CBS, we have the Green Bay Packers at two and three versus the Denver Broncos at one and five. Packers. Jordan Love not having a good year at all, and he really stinks the first half of every single game. Denver Broncos, Sean Payton is eating his words. They are having a god-awful season, but Russell Wilson actually isn't having a bad statistical year com compared to just how much he stunk last year. But I think the Broncos are actually better than their record shows. So coming into this game, Green Bay is favored by one here. I really don't know why. Uh, and the over-under is 45. I have the Broncos coming. I have them winning 24 to 20. So obviously Green Bay will not cover that spread. And I'm going with the under here just slightly with a total of 44 points. Like I said, I think the Broncos are better than a 1-5 and five team. At 425 on CBS, we have a really good game here. The 2-3 and three Chargers versus the 5-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs. So Kansas City is 5.5 point favorites here. Over-under is 48. So the Chiefs, they have a top five defense, but their offense is not the Chiefs' offense of last year just because basically outside of Kelsey and maybe Rice, they have absolutely no passing vertical weapons. So they're having to win a little differently than they usually would this year. Chargers, their defense is complete trash. Herbert, he does very well versus the Chiefs. So I definitely think he's going to put up some stats here. Even with Mike Williams out, they still have Eckler. They still have Allen. So he will be able to move the ball somewhat decently versus a really good Chiefs defense. But I definitely think the Chiefs are going to pull it out and get the win here. 27 to 24. So I'm going with the over. and But I do not think that they will be covering that spread. But as the Chargers continue to lose these games, 
there might be a head coaching job opening up soon there in LA. Then we have a really good matchup, one of the best matchups of the year at 820 on NBC. The 5-1 Miami Dolphins versus the 5-1 Philadelphia Eagles. So Dolphins, 5-1, probably have the best offensive roster in all of football. They have Tua, they have Hill, Waddle, Berrios, Mobster. This team is stacked. They will move the ball. Their defense, though, is not very good. So they will definitely give up points. So it's going to be a shootout here. It is in Philly, and it will be cold for the Eagles. They are coming off of that really bad loss versus the Jets, but perhaps that's a wake-up call for Hertz. He played about as bad as he could have possibly played. He had three picks. I don't foresee that happening again. He has a very good offensive line, a top three line, and the Dolphins do not have the defense to put him under pressure. So Philly is two-and-a-half-point favorites here. The over-under is 50 and a half. This game can honestly go either way because it's going to be a shootout. But I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think the Dolphins get the win 31 to 30. So I have them getting the win and I'm also going with the over here. I would not at all be surprised though if the Eagles win. This is a very even game and it could go either way. In our final game on Monday night at 8.15 on ABC, we have the 5-1 San Francisco 49ers, the best team in the NFL so far this year, versus the Minnesota Vikings at 2-4. So the Vikings are without Jefferson. That's a massive loss. But Kirk Cousins is still slinging the ball, but they have absolutely no defense. 49ers lost this past weekend. Should not have lost. Look for them to rebound here and play good on both sides of the ball. So with this game, San Francisco is favored by seven. Over under is 44 points. I do have the 49ers getting the win, rebounding, playing really good, really strong this weekend. They will win 27 to 17. So they will get the win. They will cover that spread. And I have them coming in right on the dot at 44. Those teams with bye weeks, we have the Bengals, Cowboys, Titans, Jets, Panthers, and Texans. But that's my breakdown of the week seven NFL games for the best bets for Sunday. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks.